Hi, in this tutorial I want to show how I take an SVG from Sketch, convert it into a vector drawable and then test it in Android Studio before handing it over to our developers. I've written a blog post that accompanies this video and it has some further tips on how to get this process right, so do go and check that out on the link in the description. If you're unfamiliar with vector drawables, they are basically an XML file that defines a graphic. The reasons we use them is that they have very tiny file sizes. They work great at any size on any screen and the performance is great. So starting in Sketch, I have this simple vector that I've named in the normal way we do for all Android assets. You'll notice I've also labelled the layers. That means we can edit the XML easier later if needed and we know which bit of code is which part of the image. I know there is a couple of issues with this graphic which I'm going to go ahead and fix. Firstly, the points for the triangle shape on the speech bubble don't fall on full pixels. That will mean our paths in the XML file we generate are really long, so all we do is go into the shape and edit the points. I start by rounding them to the nearest full pixel and check visually that I'm still happy with the overall graphic. Once that's done, we will need to flatten these shapes so that they are one by going to Layer, Combine and then Flatten. Let's go ahead and export this graphic as an SVG just onto the desktop for the moment. Once we've got our SVG, I'm going to go and open up the in-loop SVG to vector drawable converter. There is a converter in Android Studio, but I've run into a couple of issues with it, so I'm just using this for the moment. The link will be in the description. All I do is drag the SVG file into the browser and it generates the XML for me. You'll notice I have a few options selected at the bottom here, which I talk about in the blog post. Hit download and now let's go and put it into Android Studio. Opening Android Studio, I'm just going to start a new project and call it SVG XML Test. You'll then be asked what target Android OS you want. Just go ahead and select whatever is appropriate for your project. I'll then press next and select the empty activity. It will generate some bits for us on the next screen and pressing finish we are good to go. To put our XML into the project we simply need to find the drawable folder. We click on app, res and then right click on drawable. Select Reveal in Finder and it will show you where this folder is on your computer. I'm going to grab my XML from my downloads and drop it into this folder. Going back into Studio, we can see that my image is now in the drawable folder. Double click on it and we can view the code. Over here on the right is the Preview tab. Opening this will show us our image and we can start to check that it looks correct, which it does. Now we're going to place that image onto an app screen and check it works on different sizes. At the top here, click on the Activity XML. This screen looks a little scary to edit, but don't worry, there is a simple way. Click on the Design tab at the bottom here, and we have a much more friendly graphical way of editing the screen. Delete the Hello World text by clicking on it and hitting Backspace. To place our image, grab the image view on the left here and drag it into the middle. This brings up a wizard and we select Project and then our graphic. Now it's on the screen. To get it to resize, grab each of these dots on the edges of the image and drag them to the edges of the screen. Next, we need to change the width over here to match constraint. This means it will always be the width of the view, minus the 8dp padding on either side. Our view is now resizing, but to get the image to resize as well within that view, we click on this box to adjust view bounce. This will keep the image at the correct ratio, no matter what the width. Great. Now it's placed, and we can resize our screen to see what it looks like. In the top here is a button to change the screen size. Currently, we're looking at a Nexus 4. Press this drop down and we can change the size to a Pixel 2, then some Android Wear sizes, and even a TV to see it at its biggest. At this point, I'm confident that this image is resizing as I expect, and looking great on lots of different screen sizes, so I'd now say my job is done, and I'm happy to pass that over to our Android team to go into an app. I hope this has been helpful. As mentioned, there is a blog post link in the description, and there is a bunch of links in there to other really helpful content on this topic. Thanks a lot.